today's video, I'll be taking you through the new AR activity for kids idea about emoji storytelling, how you can make use of Keynote for creating your own 2D content to then bring to life in the app AR Maker. So let's take a look first at utilizing Keynote. As part of the AR activities for kids, with the Memoji storytelling, there is a template provided to help you get started. This template will give you one Memoji character to start with that you can then utilize the drawing or clip art tools to enhance and bring to life as a character. Otherwise, you can make use of other features in Keynote, such as bringing in your own Memojis or utilizing the clip art or drawing to make your own custom creations. So let's go ahead and make one. I'm going to click the plus in the bottom left corner and bring up a new slide. This slide is set to have a Memoji character right away. You can easily go in and change out for a new Memoji character. I'm going to use one of my previously created characters and I can resize using the blue resizing buttons. Once I have the character to the size that I would like, I can then enhance that character utilizing other features within Keynote. So utilizing the plus or add more content, I can come in and either use the drawing tools or come in and make use of the different clip art. For this sample, I'm going to place this character as if they are sitting at a table. So I'm going to resize slightly and I may make later changes to this character as well, but I'm going to place them at a table. Now, if you're using this Memoji template, you will likely have all of your slides already set to a no fill background, which is why it will look black. Now, clip art always comes through as black as standard. So it's best to go ahead and just change the color of it right away, even if it's not your final color so that you can see where you're placing things and how you're using everything. So I'm happy with that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and make use of the drawing tools as well. So now that I have finished my drawing, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to export all of your creations, uh, whether it's been made with the drawing tools, whether it's been made with uh, the clip art, uh, how you can export those directly to your photos so that you can use them in AR Maker. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the more option and click on export. Now, while there's lots of different export options with Keynote, what we're focusing on is using the images. And we want to make sure that we are selecting a PNG and making sure that down at the bottom here, we have transparent backgrounds turned on. And our slide range is going to be all the slides. So one to four, and we go ahead and click export. Now, once that's done, we want to scroll down to where we have the option of save four images, and that will then save them to our camera roll. So now let's jump over into AR Maker. Once we're in AR Maker, we go ahead and click Start. And we want to go ahead to create your own scene. Now this will require you to pick up your iPad and look for a flat surface. Immediately what will happen is a grid will come up on your surface that you are scanning. The more that you move your iPad, the bigger that grid is going to get. Once you're happy with that size, go ahead and tap on the screen. You get your target that helps you to place your different items in the space that you have defined. But in order to bring in your own creations that you have made, we're going to click on the new option in the top left hand corner. Here we're going to tap on the folder option and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Memoji characters one at a time. Once we have our Memoji character here, we can click the check on the right hand side and tap the check again. Now we know that our object has been saved to our library and it is ready for us to use in our scene. And here we can see it on the left-hand side, it's now ready. You can resize your Memoji characters using your fingers. You can also flick your finger 
up to get your character to lay flat. This is good if you want to add things like scenery, such as a path or water. Otherwise, you can flick it back and have it standing upright. Let's go ahead and bring in our other items as well. Now, once you're ready to place a character, you put them where you want them and tap the place button on the right hand side. And here we have a very simple way of starting to use augmented reality with AR Maker to do Memoji storytelling. Your students could videotape a scene that they have created and compile that with other scenes that they have made with AR Maker as well. Putting those into an app such as iMovie or Clips to then export and have a video of digital storytelling using the Memoji characters.